What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it has been one whole year since I started this YouTube channel. Uh, I thought it would be a good time to jump in and kind of reflect and talk to you guys about, say, five top things I've learned since starting the channel. Um, also, you can see behind me, my garage is an absolute mess, so it's time to come in and clean that up. There's tools everywhere, there's rubbish everywhere, everything's unorganized. It's just what happens when you work on the car and <laughs> you don't clean up after yourself. Um, luckily, I've been able to get hold of three big cabinets that are next to me right here. So they're gonna be going across the back wall next to the toolbox there, and I'll be able to organize everything perfectly. So let's roll this intro and get started. Okay, so number one thing I've learned since starting this YouTube channel, it is a lot of work. Um, like it's a lot of work. So I work full time as well, obviously, to be able to afford the things that I'm doing. Um, and I work a lot of overtime to mainly kind of support that. So yeah, it's heaps and heaps of work. Not only are you uh, recording everything, making sure that you've got content coming out that is good and fresh and people actually want to see, um, as well as coming up with content that you want to do, because I don't want to go doing content to just kind of go along with the, you know, just what people want to see. Like, don't get me wrong, I want you guys to want to see these videos, but if I'm not doing things that I love, you guys are going to see that. It's going to reflect in my content and you're going to be like, man, this guy's boring. He's just like reading off a script, you know, kind of that kind of thing. So to come up with that much content um, and yeah, record it, edit it, get it out on time, those kind of things, it is actually a lot of work. And um, I'm originally from Perth. I live in Melbourne now and all my mates are back in Perth. So I don't have a cameraman. I don't have a mate recording it for me. Um, so it's everything's on you. You've got to do all of it. It is definitely doable. And if you want to do it, I'm doing it. You know, it can be done, but it is a lot more work than I expected. Second thing that I've learned through YouTube, you cannot please everybody with every video. So obviously I've got some kind of diverse videos, diverse content, um, the fitness, Japanese cars, European cars, and vlogs. So, you know, some of you may be here for all of it, which is amazing, thank you. But some of you may be here for just the Crown, or just the Supra, or just the, the fitness stuff. Whatever it may be, I appreciate all of you for being here, all of you for subscribing, and all of you for watching. Uh, but I do know that there's gonna be uh, members of you out there that are going to be like, ah oh, man, it's just a super, I don't want to watch that, or ah oh, man, it's the E46, I don't want to watch that. So I try and chop and change with keeping things, you know, on track. It does look like I've finished the crown. Trust me, guys, I haven't. For any of you that are here for the crown content, there's more coming. I'm not finished on the crown. I've got a bunch more stuff that I want to do to it. Um, it's just waiting for parts, waiting for, you know, things like that to come in and to try and kind of space it all out. But yeah, I have to kind of accept that I'm not gonna please everyone with every video. So I've just gotta do things that I love and hope that you guys love that too. Um, Cause like I said previously, unless the content's organic, you guys are gonna be like, man, this guy's boring. So I've gotta do stuff that I love and hopefully it's stuff that you guys love as well and that's the community we're gonna build. Number three, third thing that I've, I guess you could say learned, but not really. Uh, I was told this right at the beginning, and this is kind of how I've always tried to be. You've got to be yourself. Um, so it's just kind of reinforced that. Three is a reinforcement of the fact that when I started this channel, I just wanted to be me. I wanted you guys to have just me, you know? I don't want to come on here, be fake, um, you know, things like that. I just want to come on here, be real with you guys. Because um, I, I feel like if you're not going to be real, at a certain point in time, it's gonna come and bite you in the bum. Like, people are gonna go, man, I've been watching this guy for six months, he's completely changed. You know, uh, granted, if you look at my first video to now, my confidence in front of the camera has probably changed a little bit, but that's just because I've been getting used to talking to myself, because it's super weird. Um, normally, you know, 
you don't do this kind of thing. You talk to people or, you know, there's some sort of interaction. So just talking directly to a camera is a little bit weird, but you get used to that. And you guys have had just me the whole time. Um, obviously, I censor myself a little bit because at some point the channel will get monetized and ads and things like that. So um, yeah, you've got a censored version of me. If you meet me in real life, I'll probably swear a lot more. So sorry for anyone that doesn't like swearing, but that's kind of just me. But yeah, I do, that's the one thing that I do try and tone down on here is I don't swear. So that's just to make the content a little bit more wholesome, a little bit more um, YouTube friendly, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, number three is just be yourself. Number four. The fourth thing is a YouTube channel takes a lot longer to grow than you would think. Now, obviously there's variables to that. So for example, someone like um, Tanner Fox, I don't really watch his channel anymore, but I have in the past. Now he was like a pro scooter guy or something. So he had a big following before he started his channel as far as I'm aware, could be wrong. So don't quote me. But if you've got a big social media following already, obviously that's gonna translate straight across to YouTube. So um, it can be easier for some individuals, but for me, I was a nobody. I am a nobody, um, essentially. Like, I'm not famous. I started from just zero, regular Instagram account, you know, like five, 600 people, whatever. Um, nothing crazy. So for someone like myself, um, starting out, obviously, man, I am sweating. This is a difficult job. Um, <laughs> I started out from like nothing. So yeah, it's gonna be slow going. Uh, like I've said in the past, um, the first milestone is 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours. Um, now, most of you probably already know, if I haven't said it in the past, that's when you can actually monetize your account and you can actually start earning money from it. Obviously, when that happens, the builds will get better, the builds will get built faster, there'll be more builds, there'll be things like that, more than I can, more stuff that I can give to the channel. Because at the moment, obviously, it's all out of my pocket, so it's whatever I can uh, justify. So yeah, the growth is very slow. I'm, when I'm recording this right now, I've got 838 subscribers in like one year, which is insane. Like I super, super appreciate that. I'm so happy, but um, putting that against someone else, for example, Throttle, a channel that I watch all the time, they posted something the other day that said, we have uploaded, well, you know, something about how growth takes a while and they took 80 videos before they got to their first 5,000 subscribers. I'm almost at 120 videos and I haven't hit the first 1,000 yet. So, you know, they may have known people, their content may have been better, things like that, but you can't compare yourself to anyone else. It's just as an example for you guys. So yeah, the growth on YouTube is a lot slower than I hoped. YouTube, I've mainly learned this because I'm not big on other social medias, but not everybody is going to like you, and it's fine. Everyone has their opinion, everyone has their preferences, all that sort of stuff. Um, people might watch you for a bit, subscribe to you for a bit, and then bail. Uh, I know recently, around the 835 mark, so I watch the subscriber number really closely, and every comment I will reply to, all that sort of stuff. Um, so because I watch the subscriber number very really closely, I see it go up and down, up and down when someone unsubscribes. And I'll be lying if I said it didn't hurt, because I'm like, oh man, I really want to get to that thousand mark. Um, but it's gonna happen. You know, people are gonna join in, maybe watch the crown content, not see as much happening, and then go, oh, I'm out of here. And that is their choice, and that is all good, but it is something to get used to, because I've never really had that kind of thing, like people unfollow you or unsubscribe or whatever, because obviously, yeah, it wasn't huge in the social media uh, platforms, just, you know, just mates and people that I've met kind of thing. So yeah, number five is not everyone's gonna love you, and that is okay.
So that's the top five things that I've learned through YouTube. Now, let's have a little bit of story time. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but um, the whole reason I started YouTube actually came from one conversation with one of my friends. So uh, obviously, um, YouTube helped me through the last couple of years, if you can understand what I mean. Uh, you know, you're in your house a lot, you're pretty bored. I, I watched a lot of YouTube, you know, TJ Hum, uh, Dustin Williams, Throttle, Adam LZ, all those kind of guys huge YouTubers and got me through boring times. It was great. I was like, this is really entertaining. These guys are great, you know, and I was like, these guys are doing what they love and they're getting paid for it. Like, that's incredible. And I was talking to, uh, okay, so it's two conversations. I was talking to my wife um, about, you know, just life. And uh, I was like, I, I wanna help people, but I don't know how to. I don't wanna force myself on people. Um, I just want to, you know, it to be an organic kind of back and forth. Um, whereas people can pick it up and use the information or they can just not and it doesn't matter. Um, and then I was talking to one of my mates, one, uh, oh, it, was, it would have been New Year's lotto win to uh, a year ago. Uh, so I think it was like $30 million or something. And I was talking to him and I was like, man, what would you do with the 30 million? And you have your normal conversation of, you know, cars, holidays, houses, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, no, no, no. But what would you do with your normal everyday life? Because you know, you're not gonna be traveling always. You've got dogs, you wanna have a, you know, a hub, things like that. What would you do with your normal everyday life? Because some people say they would still work. And he's like, oh, I don't know, I've never really thought about it. He goes, what would you do? And I was like, I'd start a YouTube channel because I'd have all the money I'd ever need, have all the tools, sickest workshop, you know, cars at your ears, bikes, jet skis, it would be great content because you'd be a millionaire. You know, you'd be, you'd be showing everyone the most awesome things around the world. It'd be great. And we're just chatting and I was like, maybe I'll do it now. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, you know, these guys have built their channels from nothing. Um, and then AdSense pays them, companies sponsor them, things like that. They make a living out of it. And then that kind of supports the channel and, you know, snowball effect, it can grow and pay for itself. And then the content gets better and better for your subscribers. And I was like, and also, I could help people. I know a lot of stuff about the Supra. I know and I'm learning a lot of stuff about the Crown. Um, I know a lot about fitness, uh, all that sort of stuff. And I thought, this could be my thing to give back to people, help people, and be, I guess, a better member of society in a way, but like the way I see it, you know, because I'm helping people as much as I can, but also I'm not being forceful. I'm not like, hey man, you should do it like this or whatever, you know, uh, I'm just being me and, giving out information. So from that, I just sent it. Started with the video on the Supra and then it kind of went from there. Got the Crown coming in, because I knew the Crown was coming. Uh, so I knew that we'd have two vehicles on the channel. So it'd be kind of a little bit diversity, big VRP sedan or a you know, two door coupe. Um, and then yeah, it just kind of has carried on. Um, I've loved it and I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep going. Um, I know, like I said, the growth is slow, but so be it, I'm enjoying it, I'm having a good time, and I feel like I am giving back to people because um, I get a lot of DMs, people saying, man, thanks for the videos, like it's really helpful, and that stuff warms my heart. I really love that because it means that I know what I'm doing is making an impact. It may be making the tiniest, tiniest little impact on someone's life, but if it made someone's day a little bit easier, if it helped them in a certain way, even if it's like, oh man, how many bolts are behind this panel? They watch my short video and there it is or even if people are just enjoying it. Um, even if it's not you know, a, a project that you're working on, you go, oh yeah, I'll watch this, and it was just entertaining for you, and it, you know, it made your day a little bit better. So yeah, that's kind of where it all grew from and where it's gonna go to. The, the bigger the channel gets, the more sponsors that come on, the more AdSense that comes in, all of that stuff. I know people don't normally talk about that stuff, but it's the reality, and like I said, I'm gonna be real with you guys. So the more of that that comes in, I'm just gonna put all of that back into the channel for you guys. And you guys will see more builds, better builds, quicker builds, more holidays, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. But hang around because obviously I'm not finished. Uh, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me just fill up shelves because uh, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly go through 
fill up all the shelves with everything. Actually, I'm gonna empty the toolbox, uh, a bunch of that stuff, because I've got some spares in there, into the cabinets. Then I'll close it all up, bring the cars in, and I'll show you what the end result looks like. All right, so there we have it, all done. So what we got is far left, paint, solvents, washing stuff. Middle is uh, spare tools, power tools, all that sort of stuff. And I, um, you may have seen, I cut a hole in the back of the cabinet so you can actually access the power point behind the cabinet. And then on the right is your spare parts. So spare beamer parts, crown parts, super parts, new parts that are about to be installed, things like that. And then obviously over here, we've got super, super minimal amount. We've just got the uh, battery tender for the Supra and a set of tools and the jack stands. So yeah, pretty basic, all done. So super stoked. Now it's super organized and I don't know, it just, I've got a lot of work coming up in the next week or two um, on the E46. We're doing, I'm hoping we're doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, definitely putting the seats in, stuff like that. So I do want to have this as organized as possible. So when I do that job, it's nice and easy and organized. I'm not chasing my tail trying to find, you know, tools and things like that. So guys, I hope this is enjoyable for you. I hope you uh, got a bit of info if you're trying to start a YouTube channel or something like that, maybe that helped. Uh, I am only a year in, so I'm very, very new to this still. Um, but yeah, uh, every single one of you, I appreciate everyone that's come in and subscribed and likes and comments and messages me, all that sort of stuff. It's amazing, so thank you very much. So as always guys, please like, please subscribe, help us grow the channel. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. See you guys.